on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, as far as the story change, it all stays up to canon from Mizuku being Dino's Quirkless to Bakugo blowing up his notebook and him going home. The only thing here is, instead of just going through the overpass, he actually heads straight to the woods. He's starting to actually feel the weight of all Bakugo's words, his actions, realizing that he... <sighs> what if he's right? What if I can't be a hero? Maybe I actually should have done a swan dive. Him having all sorts of negative emotions to the point where, yeah, it's it's bringing down the mood if anyone else was there. <laughs> to the point where it actually gets dark. Suku not noticing until he sees a, a bright purple glow. Him walking closer to it, at least examine it. He finds a vault key. Of course, he doesn't know that, but at the end of the day, guess what it is. He's actually intrigued by it, not knowing what it is, except it's obviously old. But then, what did it go to, or what was it a part of? Him taking it. But, this is when he notices something odd happening. As soon as he puts it in his backpack, he notices it starts glowing more and more vibrantly. As soon as he starts realizing, huh, he starts turning a little bit to one side and the other, seeing that, yeah, sometimes the light dims, then it brightens up, like it's trying to lead him to, towards something. Izuku being the way he is, he's curious. Like, was it trying to show me? Was it, where's it leading me? Him spending at least two to three hours walking. Him having to take multiple breaks, considering, yeah, he doesn't have as, nearly as much stamina as he would uh, out of the ten months. <laughs> this is where he approaches, uh, Upon a huge ass door. So, who would leave this out in the middle of nowhere? But then he sees the vocal key is pretty much glowing to the highest it can go. Seeing that there's something etched into the door. Him being as curious, he takes it out of his backpack and places it. Is at the hole. But this is when the whole door starts to rumble. It starts to brighten up as it starts to open, and Izuku is hella scared and also excited to see what he's discovered. But upon really encroaching the residence, he sees that there's nothing here. Till he steps on something thinking, oh my god, is this how I die? Maybe I will be born with a quicker in my next life, but this, this ain't worth it. Is then a voice piles up. Welcome. You are the first person to open this vault within a thousand years. What? As yes, the whole area brightens up. Izuku sees an elevator, he sees as well as diagrams, blueprints. As well. Wait, is that a bestiary? Is that a robot? Him seeing a bunch of wreckage and seeing these robots just show up and start scanning him. They this large ass arm. Picks him up, scans him, 
even more. Him feeling violated to a certain extent until a spike comes out and skewers him. Him wincing in pain because, hell, easier said than done not to. As welcome user. What? As then he notices something. What's that? The last user. As he approaches on, of course it's who you think it is. It's the thumbnail. It, it was pretty obvious. Him walking towards her, like, what do you mean by previous? Is she deceased? Oh no, I, I'm sorry. Do not be. She was just one of the unlucky ones. Izuku just winds up. Is there some way I can give her a grave or a burial? Because as he just tries his best to pick up her, the corpse, but as soon as he does, he gets a flash of everything that's happened within her life, from her being a hero to her ugh, being up countless psychos, cannibals, bandits, you name it. And when he just passes out of uh, the sheer rush and a drill and just pumping, he jolts awake and sees what the hell is this? As yes, he has her tattoo. It faded away from her and Izuku seen as what just happened? She was a siren in which they can actually not only charge vault keys, but they are also able to pass on their powers to whoever they wish. It seems as though she used what little strength she could to keep herself in a kind of death-like state until she could actually pass on her powers. So the way she wasn't dead? Well, not in the traditional sense. Brain dead. If nothing else. She used what the strength she had left in deep meditation to, well, try out using your abilities. I don't, what, what abilities? I, I, I don't know what I, well, if anything, let me try to search the archives and try to find out which abilities that she possessed. If you don't mind, this could take quite a while. Uh, okay. As just some time goes by, he's like, "All right, phase trance. What's that?" <laughs> well, it's more like an ability to manifest transparent parts of the human form. Hmm. Interesting. But, if anything, seems like that's as far as she went with it. At least, that's what it's talking to me, Daz. What are you talking about? Um, let's see. You could say it's like... Hmm. Say you want a, a giant arm or something. A foot. You could manifest these things. But she found other ways to utilize it. Uh, what? Yes. Quite, quite interesting. If I do say so myself. She never really fully utilized its capabilities from what I can see. Almost like she was nerfing herself. Nerf? What, nerf? What, what does that mean? 
It's another way to say weaken. From what I can gather from her history, she loved fighting. Though she mainly used her abilities to fight evildoers, it seems as though due to her reputation, lesser lesser enemies came to combat her. Making it so she can engage in confrontations like she would prefer. So she liked fighting, but mainly fought to protect people? So she was a hero? Correct, in a manner of speaking, she was. And now I have that you do. Okay, so what else can I do? Depends. Hmm. Actually, getting a good look at you and judging for your scans and your overall health, you are, um, how should I put this without upsetting you? Go ahead, say it. You are weak. Very weak. At the very least, she uh, seems to have trained herself not only with her siren abilities, but also her body as well. I can tell from your scans, you, you don't have much when it comes to stamina or strength. So yes, this ability you've gained is quite powerful. It won't be much use to you if you don't live long enough to actually utilize it. Oh. So, I have to train? That would be most appropriate action. If you do want to be a hero like your predecessor. I do. I won't be the greatest. Well then, I suggest that we start trading now. As the Zuku's phone rings, as Inko crying, wondering, "Where are you? Where have you been? <laughs> Please tell me you're alright, Mom. I'm I'm fine. I just uh got a little lost. How? Uh." Sidetracked? Was there another hero versus villain fight you just got? Don't worry, Mom. I'll be home in a minute. Somehow. Hmm. Your parent seems to be quite worried about you. Perhaps we can put this off until the next day. Are you sure? Trust me, a worried parent hmm. can't be hard to come by. Oh, okay, but how am I going to get there before she gets even more worried? Hmm. I do not wish to let you just use your newfound abilities all recklessly. Are you able to drive? What? At the very least, I can grant you one of these vehicles from the fabricator. What? Oh, yes. You see, this whole base was, I believe, is, would be considered a vault. It's one massive fabrication center. As well as hmm, pretty much anything that has a blueprint can be created. How many blueprints do I need to create multiple things? Well, there are archives among archives of data. There, I believe one of the previous users many years before this siren became here 
did make a genetic one. A what? Oh, think of it as a... Hmm. Biological fabricator. There was also one for sustenance. Really? Yes. So, th wait, this, this whole place can fabricate food? Yes. Weapons and armor and machinery? Correct. Uh, living animals? Yes. Ugh, next thing you're gonna tell me that it can create rooms. Oh, but it can. What? You see, this space is not unlike yours. At least, when that door is still open. However, once it closed, I and you have full unrestricted access as well as control over the apartment. Yes, this may be a fabricator, but it it can do astonishing things with enough innovation. Izuku hearing this is all sorts one gajillion tentillion flavors of all oh, what I am one of the luckiest people in the world. But then he wonders, like, wait. So, this isn't a quirk. A quirk. Uh, never mind. I'll try to explain it to you uh, later. But, from what I can tell, I, I've been trusted with this ability. More like luck. What? Hmm. Let's just say if someone else were on that vault key, it could be a 50 50 chance whether she would have been chosen. Uh, she, 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 she would have possibly. Yes. Chances are it may have not have been you if you weren't here first. Oh, but lucky for you, you are the first one to show up. However, I must say, I did expect someone more built, you could say, if nothing else. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You're apologizing to me. Yes, it sounds like you're disappointed. Uh, no, 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 that, that's not it. I just expected someone different. So you're not, you're not dissatisfied? Of course not. In fact, I am happy to have the company. So much so that here, He's like being given a, a wristwatch? I uploaded a fragment of my consciousness upon it. That way, me and you can actually keep in touch, as I've heard people say. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, wait, I still have to get home! Oh. Oh, right. Please forgive me, Master. What? Uh, Master, what are you... You don't have to call me that. Are you certain? Yeah, just, you can just call me Izuku. Very well. Master Izuku. No, no, just Izuku. No, no, just... Never mind, never mind. All you have to do is. You can call me Izuku. Izuku. 
Yes. There you there you go. So but no, I I can't drive. Hmm. Perhaps I can make something that would aid us in this predicament. As Yuzuku follows the arrows onto the vehicle fabrication room, him seeing the multiple designs, the possibilities of him crafting something from here, and wait, do I need to get any materials or something? No. You see, this entire facility is actually self-sufficient. We require no external power or resources. Really? Yes. You could say it's like having your own little dimension or something. Either way, let's begin with your new vehicle. As yes, this is pretty much when Izuku gets himself a motorcycle. Pretty much like uh, he calls it a lot similar to you know who, all oh my. <laughs> but, like, this is the best day ever. Wait, but I still said. You see that slot? Yeah, isn't that where the key? I made it specifically so that your watch with my consciousness is the key. Wow. Really? Him plugging it in is... See? I will guard this thing with my life. There is no need. What? You are the only one that can use it. Really? I acknowledge you as my new master. So yes. I will scan those who try to enter, but they shall be able to unless they have your express permission. Really? Yes. You have unrestricted access to this whole facility. You may use it however you see fit. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but is there something the matter? No, I... I've been blessed. Yes, it's Zuku, yes. He is crying the tears of utter happiness thanks to his damned luck and he can't lie, him being lost in thought. So he ends up driving his motorcycle hella fast, almost getting pulled over by the police, but luckily, uh, that bitch is fast. And Ingo is worried about where's he been, but also happy just to have him back. Meanwhile, as soon as he does head in for bed, he's <sighs> Is there something ailing you, Master? Uh, sorry, Izuku. It's just a lot's happened since, uh, you know, yes, school, I believe. Yeah. I didn't expect to find a, a vault. Seriously. Could you imagine if there were more? Oh, but there are. What? Oh yes, there are a multitude of vaults. Just scattered across galaxies. You would need a spaceship to, you know. Wait, were there spaceships back then? Oh yes. But how was that? How how did? It... Chances are. Hmm. 
there is an attempt on crafting a spacecraft on this planet, but however, it doesn't seem to be mm, efficient. Uh, I how efficient were these spacecrafts before? Hmm. To be completely honest, they were very more more advanced than the ones here. Really, how much more? Hmm. How should I flip this? Walk until hmm, leagues above what this planet has been able to accomplish. Though there were kings, like people shooting at you, malfunction with the internal or external systems. Huh. Sometimes, the you know. The plates would just get a little out of sequence. Oh, cool. Oh, no, quite the opposite. They will burn up upon re entry. It would be a gruesome death if it weren't quick. They would wish it was. Oh, hmm, that's, that's very good to know. I am happy to be of service. As the next day, he's a good, good. okay, so what should I learn first? First, you are to do weight training. Huh? As in, Izuku just sees this huge ass gym with treadmills, ellipticals, you name it, barbells, dumbbells, everything. He's, I don't know where to start. Considering that you seem to have no muscle mass, I would uh, advise against the heavier weight. Is there something to matter? No, no, you're not trying to hurt my feelings. You're just being honest. Of course. I have no reason to lie to you. Or no desire to. I appreciate that. <sighs> Don't you get a little lonely? Yes. That is why I was so elated to have someone else here besides myself and that corpse. Right. Um, question. Uh, so you can fabricate almost anything, correct? Do you think you can make a robot friend of you or something? Hmm. I do have something in the archives pertaining to one interesting automaton. However, he can prove to be very uh, difficult. Difficult? Oh, yes. Very much so. Um, difficult how? You see, this particular robot has actually acquired self-awareness, as well as... Hmm, it has been mistreated, as well as its brothers by humans a lot. Uh, can I explain a lot? To the point where they were pretty much scrap metal. In fact, one by the name of 
Hmm. Handsome Jack. May so he not only gain access to that period. Art. Oh dear. That's right. He did do that. What? Did do, do what? He killed all of them. What? Yes. But one unit in particular, he didn't kill right away. Oh, did he actually change his mind? No, he wanted to kill him personally. This... He sounds like a terrible person. He was passionate about his goal, to say the least, to the one where he actually achieved a fair amount of it, but such is life. Oh, so um, who was, what was his name? Clap Trap, I believe. Oh, okay. That that sounds interesting. What else can you tell me about the um, uh, claptrap? Right. Uh, what do you know about? Violent. Hateful. Did not really care much for humans. But... After the revolution was halted. What? Oh, yes. There was one. However, it was uh, easily taken down. Oh. Yes. Huh. In interesting. So... You can keep it from turning against us, right? I can possibly try. But worry not, it shall not hurt you. Not at all. If it is actually able to, I shall dispose of it and heal you accordingly. Thanks! Thank you for the vote the of confidence! You are quite welcome. As then they start to construct Claptrap, the only thing is, it's factory resetting. He has to really choose, like, okay, so what kind of... What do I actually want him to do? Hmm. Well, they were work, work bots. They serve plenty of purposes. Really? Yes. So they particularly were good at opening doors. They also have smart elect personalities and... <laughs> oh. Interesting. But, all in all, they were relatively useless. Which is why, the reasons why them they destroyed though saddening was all in all necessary oh hmm yes huh yeah that's interesting thank you for the information Think of it, think of it. Izuku just trying to just think, okay, so, yes, I want to be a robot assistant. That'll help. Should I give him act the same clearance and access I have? No, he has to ask permission. Don't want a revolution. <laughs> hmm, skills. Hmm. I want him to be able to defend this place whenever I'm not here, so definitely that. 
Mm. Repairing? Huh. Does this place ever need to be repaired? Every so often when something doesn't function properly. Okay, I'll them wire that too. Arsenal. Hmm. Bombs? Guns? Oh my goodness, this is... This is haunting. What? Who would give a worker bot these weapons? Himself. Huh. All right. As yes, he's just mulling over this. As he really doesn't want a robot revolution. <laughs> Especially in a fabrication factory where more can be made. Greasily. Upon the whole. Yes, okay. Done. Claptrap is reborn. Still being somewhat of a smart aleck, but still, it's welcomed company. And this is how Izuku's 10 months training actually really begins. First things first, he needs to build up. Some muscle, some stamina. Otherwise, yeah, if he does have her powers, it's not going to really do much. So, 10 months drain. It's actually a bit more balanced yet brutal than All Might's. Since he has access to a fabrication device and he can make. High protein diets and less greasy food. He does adopt a healthier eating ha habits, but the thing is, when he goes home, he goes like, "You're not hungry." Like, um, of course I am. Him not want her to start prying too much. So yes. He does not go to bed hungry. You can definitely say that. At the end of the 10 months, he does look a lot more lean and muscular. Only to the fact that he doesn't have to. He, no one would really pick on him if they had a chance. He has actually grown some height as well as over the course of the 10 months, actually. Him get more practice as well as the floods of compliments given to him by the Volt's AI as well as Claptrap. Though Claptrap can be a smartass. he got actually a lot more confidence than he would have in canon. So it's the last day of the 10 months. He's just trained for this. He's thinking like, okay, I need something to psych me up. Alright. Huh. What's up there? Huh? Psych! What? Uh, wait! That's not what I meant. That's, it, oh, that was lame. Like, well, it was funny. Like, no. No, it wasn't. Did you laugh? No. It was funny. <clears throat> yeah. Your humor takes some getting used to, but... It's better than being lonely, definitely. Hmm. So, you haven't used her powers at all. Would you like to try it? All you have to do is focus and feel the power. Channel it. Like, say, a river. Uh, okay. Just feel it flow throughout your whole body. And imagine what you wish to create. Huh. As yes, this is when Izuku opens his eyes and sees a life-size transparent manifestation of All Might. Him being embarrassed and making it go away. 
But then he just tried something else, like, okay, let me, let me think of something that's embarrassing. Could I have to have wine? Just throw shade. But like, you know, this is an important moment. Maybe later. As Zuku starts summoning arms, then legs. Up until a point where he actually makes a suit of armor. <laughs> 